Good morning again, Supervisors. I got lucky uh, coming in this morning. Just as I was walking into the building, I uh, met Sheriff Sniff, and I gave him a detailed explanation on how Scientology corrupts law enforcement. So let me read this off. This is from the Honorable Jesse Prince. Here's a perfect example of Scientology's utter content for the law or law enforcement agencies. This is the right time and place to explain how Scientology is able to corrupt practically any government agency or agencies. It is the untraceable money flow through the offices of high-priced lawyers who help launder the cash paid to field operatives and their friends. Scientology on its books carries whatever the dollar amount is paid to eliminate the enemy as attorney fees. The law firm carries the dollar figures on the accounting books as fee pays to a private investigator firm who then doles out the money to active law enforcement employees. The operative theory for Scientology and its high-priced lawyers is to keep as many arm's length from the individual victim as possible to limit liability. Simply stated, the scam is set up so that all can claim no one knows anything specific, especially those at the top doling out the money who happen to be the same people issuing orders and paying for the service. It's just that simple. Through the hire of, of high-priced influential lawyers, Scientology project operatives direct these lawyers to find the best ex-cop, ex-FBI, ex-sheriff, or ex-law enforcement person to work for hire. The more connections the potential hire has with current active agents, the better. This is the preferred method of hire because it's easy to get cash money exchanging hands. These ex-law enforcement agents have favors they can buy from current law enforcement friends, such as providing a profile or files for anyone um, and such. An example would be a paid law ex-law enforcement person pays friends cash for information and hand over the information over to Scientology for evaluation. Driving records, cell phone records, tax information, and past criminal records can be procured this way. This can also extend to getting law enforcement to look the other way while a crime is being committed by Scientology, such as a break-in. Scientology also uses these contacts to procure the latest surveillance equipment, like bugging devices. This is how Scientology is able to give a person that I am being haunted feeling. Scientology somehow seems to know everything about the target. After a certain amount of money has exchanged hands between Scientology and working law enforcement agents, the intended Scientology target also becomes a target for law enforcement itself by association. Scientology has divulged it paid private investigators in excess of $500,000 in fees alone to set up Mr. Jesse Prince for marijuana possession. This is why any Prince law enforcement a closing sentence. This is why any law enforcement agency that decides to investigate Scientology has the added task of investigating itself first. Thank you. Thank you.